black unicorns is again a shantae brown sugar talk under black unicorns and i'm doing the show differently for a couple days so today i just wanted to go over um something else so anyway today i am doing this differently i have on the video you're gonna see like what i'm doing because the video will be later so i guess that's what it is it's like i have to check and see if everything is going okay okay it is all right cool so i had to check and make sure my stream was still going so okay so here we go so i have today is like write a letter to your best friend when you're present when you're presented with new information that is this is two parts to, the, to what it is i don't all i gotta do is write a letter to my best friend and so then the questions are the question for today is when you're presented with new information that is good bad exciting depressing horrifying how do you usually respond and um Y'all, I can't be, like, for for real right now, I'm just in shock. Today has become a beautiful day because somebody is actually listening to what is going on. So, I, when I woke up, the person was just talking or whatever. And then he started saying that he wanted to eat my ass when I wake up. So, anyway, I was masturbating, y'all understanding? So, I'm masturbating. And that's when he started saying, well... I sent Gilly's video out and I sent um I sent Gilly's video out and that was it. So he was like Wally Gilly and Toot or something like that. Like he was trying to make some fantasy up or whatever. And like I said, I'm not a person that wants to like actually subscribe to stuff like that because that's not me. So the only way that somebody would actually bring up an orgy to me is because of Joel McCombs. So, Joel McCombs and, like I said, those men that were at my school, they started to, um, they were the ones that, um, started all this, like, porno type stuff. So, this person is on there saying, well, I didn't say that I wasn't try. I never, I'm not, I, the way he puts it is like, I'm not not trying to sex traffic her i'm not not trying to do this and they like well you need to stop because that's not something that we want to do you see what i'm saying the people are like this is something we don't want to do um and i was like that's crazy and y'all let me tell y'all where all this came from i did one show um I did one show in Texas. I was just in my front room screaming. And that's when all this stuff started to happen. And I was just like, if I was a problem and you had to stalk me this bad, then you should have turned me into the police. If I was a problem, then you should have took my child and my dog. This person actually came and took the child and the fucking dog. And you're just like, what the fuck is going on? You see what I'm saying? If somebody stalked you this hard, they trying to do something to you. And it's like, when the fuck do you stop? When do I get help? Because I'm not in outer space. You know what I'm saying? It's not me. So he's like, what the fuck do you want me to be? You want a crazy motherfucker. I'm not about to play crazy with you. Okay. And it's like, that's all he had. These people have changed this shit to what they wanted to be. So, um, that's when I was like, you see, like, Miss Grant, she saw this stuff and she thought it was something else. Now they want me to put in what they want me to say and all this different stuff. Now that I'm understanding, this shit is unnecessary. It is very unnecessary. And it's like, the, the way that y'all want it to be, it's like, I'm not about to do that shit with you. Today's mantra is, today I'm going to be my best self. So, I'm writing a letter to my best friend. Dear Blake, I'm being sex trafficked by an unknown person that continuously stalks and watches me at all times of the day. There is a... 
device that he uses to speak to me. And now that I am in uh, in Illinois, and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna let this be with the mist of spelling, and Missouri. I can hear what he is saying. And y'all know Miss Grant don't have any feelings. These people, because they keep thinking that everybody want to be a part of their outside world. I don't want to be in that shit. These people have wanted me to be a part of their alien nation because that's what it feel like like that's what that man was telling me when i was little that is really aliens no they not aliens they demons that's nature that's bringing that shit out of y'all face alien nation since i was since i was young remember y'all wanted me to be evil that's why y'all kept telling my family to tell me that you're gonna be evil nope they I'm Lord Voldemort, y'all. Wanted me to be evil, and I wasn't. It was actually the queen. I wasn't. This is my real story. Uh, it was the false queen of. England Elizabeth ain't that her name Elizabeth and Carletta and she could have did that to him too you see what I'm saying your aunt was helping her it's not a story I'm making up this is the truth I am the true queen of England and and I made you a king. They are trying to to keep us Apart because they are always trying to steal my life's work. We are brilliant people. So, don't ever doubt yourself. You naturally, you are naturally what is it, ambidextrous? Ambidextrous, meaning you can use both of your hands, both that you can use, and you can use both sides of your brain too. By nature, you can do this, child. Ambidextrous, you can use both sides of your brain. You have a thalassemia trait, which he knows that now he cannot mate with another person with thalassemia. Y'all understand what I'm saying? So, 
this is something that we cannot do because then the person will become fully thalassemic. So no sense in trying to kill him for his blood and all that shit. That's all y'all be want to do. Kill some fucking body. Leave us the fuck alone. That's all I'm just, just leave us the fuck alone. have a thalassemia trait and he already knows you are naturally ambidextrous you can also use both sides of your your brain you have a thalassemia trait you are a better businessman than me you are better at business than me What else can I say about your child? What else can I tell you that you are just wonderful? I made you a king to protect you. You are my partner. Okay, what else? Blake, you're going to have to face it. You have to You have to face that you are a mixed child, which he already knows, which you already know. You are African first. That gives you... Y'all, I think mix. I think Texas is is a a race too. You are African first. That gives you pride. You are a true Texan. And that should be a race too. Y'all see him saying he should be Texan should be a race. You know, y'all should like next to other af before other put Texan and let us check it. Cause that shit is true. Like if you you be Texas to your motherfucking heart. To your motherfucking heart. Okay. He already knows that he's mixed. It's other people that has to face that he is mixed. But he thinks that he's just mixed with black and African. Okay, you are African first. That gives you pride. You are a true Texan, and that should be a race too. You are. You are the best black man. I'm going to capitalize black because y'all be trying to act like it's just the color. You are the best black man that I know. You are Jewish. That is your true culture. That is your truest culture. And you are Native American. And that is your spirit culture and baby is you the way you walk the way you talk the way you say my name your smile the way you groove me the way you move me the way you speak so lovely at night and the morning you rise you open your eyes i just want to be there with you blakey 
I just want to be yours. That's it. I just want to be your mama. I love you. I love being your mama. I love being your mother. You are the greatest. Don't steal this letter and give it to your kids and tell them to go out and react, reenact the letter so they can be a great, so they can be the queen's child. Don't do that, okay? Because this is my child. Just like I was his wife. I, live, I love being your mother. You are the greatest gift. Y'all, I'm so serious that God has ever given me. Y'all, I be meaning this shit. You filled my life. Like, I'm just like, I'm talking about, it's just like, It's just like we all I ever needed. <laughs> it, it all I ever needed in my life. That's like it. That's it. Like it's like yeah, I was doing so much for the kids and all this stuff. And it's like, he came and that's all I need. I don't need. It's like, I see how some women just be like, no, nah, it's just going to be me and my kids. And, it, you know, before I just be like, how you give up on being in love and being with somebody and all this stuff. And it's like, I can see why. It's, it's like, that's all I ever need. I'm not joking. Like, he is it. He filled my life. Like, he blew it up. Yeah, I understand this. I mean, he is something else. He filled my life with joy, love, adventure. Oh, my God, the adventures. I was already adventurous, and now he's, like, got me looking at the animals and learning more about my culture and all this stuff. Joy, love, adventure culture laughter I could burst you are a true king and y'all now I see why they did that to me too because it's like they just look you a queen you are the real queen of england and it's like uh, i'm just playing y'all i'm just like mm, okay yeah that's okay that's cool he's like you don't look i don't understand either because i'm too young to understand he's just like you are the real queen of england i'm just looking at the stuff like okay yeah that's really cool you know like what you want me to say I don't even say the word cool at that point. At that point, I don't use slang. So I'm just like, okay, so what What do, you know, okay. And so then they just start teaching me stuff about who I am, what I do, and who I am, and all this stuff, and start asking me questions. What do you want? I have always wanted to just be able to find the books quickly. So that's it, y'all. It's like, you are a true king. Like, I am, um, I put a few songs at the top of this for you. And that's all I'm going to write. I'm not going to write you something that doesn't, I'm not going to write you something that's not about you. Nothing can change this love I have for you. Okay? You're the apple of my eye. You're a cherry pie. You are cake and ice cream. You are sugar and spice and everything nice. And uh, nothing can change. They say that about girls, so I'm going to say that about you. Nothing can ever change this love I have for you. The other one is Paolo Nutini. Paolo Nutini. Because, Blake, sometimes you'll meet men and you'll say, you act just like my mama. You know why? 
Because they probably act just like your mama or your mama got some part of their persona too. Or they just real. You see what I'm saying? They're OG, Blake. I told you, the gangsters. The gangsters. That's why I want you to see Free Game. Free Game, and I didn't put it on her. Free Game was an E-40. It's with every one of them has something to tell you, okay? Every last one of them. So listen to the lyrics. You got E-40. You got Snoop D-O-double-G. You got Ice Cube. That's your granddad. And you got, um, who else? He not your real granddaddy, but I'm gonna make him your granddaddy. I'm gonna tell you why. When we talk, I'm gonna tell you. When I see you, I'm, I'm gonna tell you when I see you. Okay, so look. And then you have uh, Too Short. Too Short is actually a part of East St. Louis. So if you ever get a chance to talk Too Short, talk to him because he probably did know your cousins. You understand? My cousins, he know them because they, they on my mama's side. On the, not on the king's side, but on our mama's side. So listen. Paolo Nutini, better man. You made me a better man. You understand? You made me the best man that I could be. I was already a good woman, honey, but you made me a better man. You make me smile. You think the way I think. That boy makes me want to be better. I had to write a book about... I had to write a book, Blake. I wrote the racial healing book for you. Because you said that all lives matter, and I believe because that's the truth. Once we start to see evil in our own races, in black and African, then we start to see everything. You see how far I see I already seen it in Jewish people. Like I said, black Native American people never have shown us any racism or anything. And that's the truth. I haven't experienced it. Somebody else might. And the last one, Blake, this is the truth. And see, I know that it's something my grandfather would have just told me. I'm not joking. If this world were mine, I would give you the flowers, the birds, and the bees. I don't want the flowers because they need to grow and be beautiful and bloom so that we can use the petals to make our faith soft and moist. See, I don't want it until it's time for it to die. Until it's time for the petals to fall off, okay? I even take the petals from the ground. Um... What else? If this world were mine, I would give you the flowers, the birds. The birds will come and sing you a song, Blake. Like, you don't have to capture them either. And the bees. And the bees will come visit you. Just like they did at our house. I'm so happy that they that we got a chance to live at the house together. Because we saw that the bees came to visit us and everything. So, yeah. Three songs, okay? And like I said, listen to that free game song. Because... It's the truth. And if you get a chance, try to talk to William, uh, Gilly and, and Wallow. They they got game too, okay? they th- that's, th- that's what I'm trying to tell you. Sometimes you got to stick with a gangster. Everybody ain't, everybody ain't your fucking friend. Okay? And if they too gangster, if they, not, if they not a hustler, don't fuck with them. You understand? If they coming to you like they a hitter, we got to jump this nigga. We got to steal this shit. We got to do this. That's a hitter. You understand what I'm saying? You need to be with a hustler. The hustler gonna be like, nah, man, we gotta get this shit together. We working today. You understand what I'm saying? That's what. That's how that shit go. You a hustler. And I love you for that. Okay? So that is it. So is Shantae Brown Sugar Talk on the Black Unicorns?